I am tired. Had a long day yesterday. Had to get up and be at work at 2 a.m. this morning. But I've been dealing with some stuff that, if you know me, I just don't do. But I be trying to check myself because everybody know me, I could be hell. <laughs> I can. But when I know I'm wrong, I'm going to step up and holler that. But I've been trying not to block my blessings by putting my wife out of my house for cheating. This happened in February. It is now May. And she is still was still there till yesterday. I try to tell people about me. And I say that to say, if I tell you don't fuck up with me and let me find out, I mean that. When I tell you um, you don't ever want me to not like you, turn me off in a way. I won't be back. Mentally, I'm going to check out of the relationship. My heart will no longer be in the relationship. I don't know why I'm built like that. I just feel like I don't owe anybody anything. I feel like if you betray me once and I let that, and that's the problem. You shouldn't let it slide, but shit happens, you know? You work on yourself, work on your marriage, not just my girlfriend, my wife. But then you turn around and do it again. Baby, you must don't know me very well. I don't like it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> not. And I'm not going to feel bad. Like, I don't understand. You do something to me and you want me to feel bad for you and your situation. You want me to feel bad because you have an eviction. And you can't get your own place. That's using a person. Not only that, let me tell the world. I sleep on the couch. You sleep in the back in a big king size bed. With your cheating ass. Okay. I let you have that for a little while. Because you know, I lost my son last year, y'all. And I checked out mentally. So I had to check myself and make sure I was cool. Because I know I be tripping. I know I spaz this. I, I literally flits. But it wasn't me. And you think I'm supposed to worry about where you going? I don't. I hope it's to that hoe you love. I hope it's to that hoe that you was plotting and planning on being with. You did. I told you, stop that shit. Told you I'd give you a chance. When you keep on playing with you, baby, everybody know I like to play. I, hey, that was my song back in the day. I keep hoes in different area codes. <laughs> no seriously. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, same way I got that ass, I can get another ass. Get it. So I came over here because my conscience was still bothering me. Because I slug shit over the patio, down the steps. Police came. I told them, oh, she got to get her ass out of here. We're okay. Everything okay? Everything's great. We should get her ass up out of here. They said, who threw this stuff out here? I did. Mm -hmm. I did. They helped her gather that shit up. Must have been time for her to go. Because they helped her gather that shit up with no problems. And she went on her merry way. Feel bad because she stepped in the car last night. But she'll figure it out. She'll get some hotel money or, you know, probably something like that. Should be okay. But future reference. If I tell you this ain't that and that ain't what you want, hear me. Because this Gemini is easily turned off. And once I lose it for you, I don't get it back. I move right along. Keep it pushing. Like Rihanna. That's my sound. I'm like K. Michelle. I love all you hoes.